Okay, 1998 Honda Prelude, Honda Prelude uh, with an intermittent no start. And uh, what I want to show you is going to be very, very similar in design and uh, symptoms as a lot of other Hondas out there, including Acura. And that's an intermittent no start, which is what we have as it relates to the PGM FI main relay. We think we have a main relay problem. I want to walk you guys through that. Go ahead and crank it. All right, good. All right, I don't want to go through all of the steps. I want to kind of shorten this one. The first thing that you want to do is pull a wiring diagram and let's see what is powered up off of this main relay. Okay, when I'm dealing with these uh, main relays on these Hondas, first thing I like to do is try to find a component that is easily checked for power. And so what you need to do first is you need to find out what all this main relay powers up. And on this car, I'll show you real quick. It's a two sided relay. There's two load sides to this relay. One of the load sides is this orange wire that I have right here. That's not the color on the car, just my highlighter. And that's our fuel pump. And one of our symptoms is on this car right now, our fuel pump does not prime. We don't hear it running. So good direction there. You could also put a fuel pressure gauge on, confirm that. Uh, the other side, this side, this switch, this load side switch powers up this pink wire, goes to the anti-theft system, powers up two, two portions of the engine computer, also comes over here, powers up the fuel injectors, and powers up the idle air control motor. And so what we want to do is we want to confirm under the hood that we're missing power. Um, I think the easiest place is at one of the fuel injectors or the idle air control motor, and that is a yellow wire with a black tracer. We're going to go there next, and we're going to look for power at that location. The other two things I have highlighted on here in green would be the main load side fuses that feed the relay. So those would also want to be checked as well, but this is an intermittent problem and you're not going to have an intermittent blown fuse. They don't fix themselves. So we're not really worried about a fuse. We could have a fuse connection problem, wiring or something like that. We think we have a main relay problem. These are the steps we go through. So next up, we're going to go under the hood check for power at this idle air control motor on the yellow black wire. All right, the easiest thing for me to show you guys would be just using a test light. Um, I have the idle air control motor already unplugged and that is this component right here. The connection is right here. So there's your connector. Uh, test light connected to ground. I always want to check my light. You see the light in the camera? The test light lit in the screen? Yeah. Okay, good. And I'm going to go to my idle air control valve on my yellow black wire and I'm going to touch on that wire and you see that that test light is not lighting so I believe we're on the correct path I could also stab an injector don't really need to do that our next step we're gonna to go to this main relay and uh, I'm gonna show you what you can do with the main relay as far as checks go okay, I'm gonna try to get it get you guys a shot of where this main relay lives um, it actually sits right in here underneath and let's see if I can get you a shot of that. So it's this box. Right here. This is your main relay. I'm going to unplug the electrical connection. And I'm going to take the uh, two tabs on the sides. I'm not going to unbolt it. I'm just going to take the inside guts out of it pull it out see if see if we have some cracked solder joints which is common on this all right so this is the main relay and on this car what we were looking for was cracked solder joints on this board um, this one is a little bit different from the still picture that i'm going to throw in here and show you what a cracked solder joint looks like okay this is the other style pgm fi main relay and that's stands for Programmed fuel injection is just a fancy name Honda uses. It's a main relay. Okay. Common problem on any circuit board like this where you have circuits that are turning on and off that have a lot of current flow. Uh, the fuel injectors would be um, high amperage circuits, and the fuel pump would be a high amperage circuit, and it's continually being turned on, turned off, you know, over thousands of miles of driving. How many times is that circuit turned on and off? And what you're going to have is expansion and contraction of solder joints. But what happens over time is they will develop a crack. First view of this picture, 
you really don't see a problem. If you look at it closely, though, let me zoom in on this. And can you see anything in here um, that is a problem? Your focus needs to be, you might not see it at first. If you look close at it, you can see there is a white ring around this one. And there is a white ring around this one. Now, the thing about the camera is when this was taken, the flash, the bulb, made these stand out. If you look at these with the naked eye, it's very difficult to see these cracked solder joints. You actually have to look at it in different angles with a flashlight, and you can see it. So what happens is, again, expansion, contraction from getting hot and cooling off over a long period of time. This is what happens. And this isn't just unique to Honda's main relays. This is anything that uses a circuit board like this. I fixed a uh, power window automatic down power window circuit same problem crack solder joints um very very common problem very easy to fix all you need to do is to use a soldering gun and put it right in that area one part of it on the post and the other on the pad and um you know most of the time you don't even need any more solder just heat it up and remelt it and you're good to go but easily fixed that's your two pins you're looking for. Now, in the video, it's a different style of relay. It didn't have this problem, but this is what you look for. Very typical, very easy to fix. And uh, what happens usually with this design is once the engine is already running, it doesn't shut off on you because heat keeps it together. It kind of momentarily welds itself together. So once you get contact, in in this area in this in this crack once it contacts between the two and we have current flow it'll stay intact until you shut the car off and then try to restart it and the typical symptom was intermittent no starts and it it happened a lot in warm warmer climates with the windows up hot summer day um you get that expansion taking place and that would be very typical of when you'd have these symptoms that wasn't what we had in this video. This is what we were looking for. Uh, we ended up having a bad power feed, but this is what you look for on these Hondas. Again, PGM FI main relay cracked solder joints. Uh, this one does not have one. Uh, we do not see a problem with these solder joints at all. Very difficult to see them sometimes. You're just looking for a hairline crack. Um, but again, this one is okay. So what we want to do now, is we want to do some uh, electrical checks and according to our diagram our main two powers that come into this relay would be this red with an orange and this white with a green and um, we're going to check those two next okay so we're going to do the white and green one and the red with an orange and that's the ones i have marked up on this diagram as green and they come from these two fuses one's hot all the time to the left and then over to the right is hot in the run position and again, that is uh, our white with a green is the one, and red, orange is the other. Just using a test light. Kind of tough to show this. The red with an orange wire is first. See the test light light? I'm just going on the pin on the back side of the connector. And then my white with a green. Test light is not lighting. So we're going after the white with the green circuit, the fuse. And I know we said that uh, these fuses don't fix themselves. It's an intermittent problem, but is this the first time this happened? Uh, last night it started to, it, it was cranking, but it wouldn't fire. Okay. And I gave it a little bit of gas and it fired right up. So um, as far as we know, first time it's been a no start though, yeah, is that correct? First time. So I guess um, maybe I, I interpreted that wrong as far as being intermittent, this being the first time this happened. Um, we're gonna go to the fuse next, see what that fuse looks like. Okay, what I thought was gonna be a nice lesson for you guys on fixing a solder joint on a main relay, turns out to be a fuse issue. And uh, this, this no start problem, um, was not intermittent. Uh, this is the first time it was a no start, so I gave you some bad information there at first. Uh, counting these fuse numbers, this is one, 
two's missing, three's missing, four. There should be a fuse in number four. That's from, uh, goes to our main relay on that white with the green wire, and it's a 15 amp fuse, and there is a 15 amp fuse laying on the floor right there. Uh, there was a few other fuses on the floor, so we didn't really pay attention to it. This car really just came in for an alignment here at the school, and apparently somebody kicked that fuse out. So we're just gonna take this 15 amp fuse, put it back in its spot, which is this one right here. And uh, it's pretty loose. That's okay. All right, let's see if the car starts now. We'll redo the power check real quick on this white with a green. And you see it's lighting now. So that goes to show you with these main relays, still gotta check them, even if you've seen 100 of them with bad solder joints. That doesn't mean you go change it right away. Make sure you check your main powers to it. And we were missing one. This car should start now. Okay, we got everything back together. This thing should fire right up now. Go ahead, start it. There we go. So, check your powers and grounds, I guess, is a lesson on this one. Bad solder joints, look for them. Uh, again, I'll throw that picture up of what we're looking for. But uh, this one did not have that problem. Had a main power problem to the uh, main relay. Somebody obviously kicked it, knocked the fuse out. But well, that's it.